Madam Speaker, I rise today in support of Senate Joint Resolution 24, the Congressional Review Act disapproval of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife's listing of the northern long-eared bat under the Endangered Species Act. I was proud to introduce the House companion to this resolution, and I want to thank Senator Mark Wayne Mullen for his partnership and leadership on this issue. The intended purpose of the Endangered Species Act when it was passed into law a half a century ago was to protect and conserve species. And once the species is restored and stabilized, it is supposed to be delisted and its population responsibly managed. Unfortunately, this well-intentioned law is abused time and time again by radical activist extremists who would rather see a species stay listed forever to help their own agenda than follow the original intent of the law. Time and time again, radical activists, extremists have weaponized the Endangered Species Act, using it as a tool to block development, block progress, and block society from moving forward. Rather than utilizing the law to protect different species, radical extreme activists see the Endangered Species Act as a basis for their frivolous lawsuits and as a tool to force their radical ideology, ideology onto the rest of the country. Take the Center for Biological Diversity, one of the greatest abusers of this scheme, as an example. When the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service decided against listing the Minnesota and Midwestern moose in 2020, they shared with the Minneapolis Star Tribune, Tribune, and I quote, now it is going to be a lot harder to ensure that things like mines and other habit-destroying projects don't go forward, end quote. Madam Speaker, the Center for Biological Diversity said the quiet part out loud. Their intent was not to protect the species, but abuse the Endangered Species Act to advance their radical anti-mining, anti-development agenda. Today, the northern long-eared bat can be found across more than half of the lower 48. Its listing under the Endangered Species Act is not based in science. The northern long-eared bat is affected by white nose syndrome, a disease that has no ties, and I'll repeat that, a disease that has no ties to human activity. Unjustified concern for the northern long-eared bat is being used to stop important development and infrastructure projects that the left, left and right. While my colleagues on the other side of the aisle cheer its listing, I have to break it to them. This irresponsible listing will hurt other projects as well. This listing will block renewable energy projects, transmission projects, wind and solar projects, the gentleman's time's expired. I yield the gentleman one more minute. Gentleman is recognized. Its listing will jeopardize wildfire mitigation, road and infrastructure construction, and agriculture. What my colleagues might not realize is this, that listing will even block projects that would benefit this species. The Endangered Species Act is an important law that can help move our country forward. We should return to its intended purpose as a tool for conservation and good stewardship of our environment, not a tool for the radical activist extreme agenda. I urge my colleagues to support this resolution. This is a good piece of, resolu this is a good piece of legislation that came out of the Democrat-controlled Senate, and we ought to pass it this afternoon on the House floor, and I yield back.